Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. So glad that you could be here. We've been doing an interesting series on studying the questions that people ask the Lord Jesus. And we've been looking at the responses that the Lord Jesus gave them in response to their questions. And it's been very interesting to know and apply the truth of what the Lord shared. Um, we're looking at, today we're looking at one such question and we're looking at Luke chapter 7. And this is Luke chapter 7 and verse 19. Okay. And John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus, saying, are, sent them to Jesus, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? Now, John, John the Baptist is the one who actually uh, talked about the Lord. He said, when he, when he referred to the Lord, even as he was baptizing people in water, he said, the one who comes after me, uh, whose sandal straps I'm not worthy to you know, carry, and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Now the same John the Baptist is behind prison, is in, in prison, and, uh, and he has this question. So he sends his disciples to the Lord with this question, are you the one, are you the coming one, are you the Messiah? Or do we look for another? Verse 21, it says that at that very hour, he cured, meaning Jesus cured, many of the infirmities, afflictions and evil spirits. And to many blind he gave sight. Verse 22, Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things you have seen and heard. That the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear. Dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them. So this was his response. This was the Lord's response to the question that the disciples of John came and asked. In response to the question, are you the Messiah? Are you the coming one? The Lord's answer was simple. Look at the works. Look at the bodies healed. Look at the lives touched and transformed. They speak for themselves. Right? Luke chapter 4, when the Lord was handed, you know, we re read, the, read this in the synagogue when he was handed the book of prophet Isaiah. He read that portion where it talks about the Spirit of the Lord coming upon him, anointing him to preach the gospel to the poor, to, uh, to heal the brokenhearted, and so on. And at the end of, it, uh, end, end of that reading, he says, and he says, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Obviously, he was referring to himself and he's saying, this is fulfilled. I've been anointed, I've been sent, I've been commissioned for this particular task. To do this, to preach the gospel, to heal the brokenhearted, proclaim freedom to the libertives, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And that is what he did. And that was his ministry. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. So the Lord referred to this ministry, to the works that he did, and he said, this is who I am. The same Lord turns around and commissions us, sends us out and says, these signs will, will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will pray with other tongues. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So the Lord turns around and says, this is how the ministry will be for those who believe in me. Right? Transformed lives, transformed healed bodies and minds. So the same thing is what his expectation is of us. Even as we pray, let's pray this for ourselves and say, Lord, let this be true in our lives. May we see this in our lives. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you, uh, Lord, your ministry was filled, earthly ministry was filled with signs and wonders and miracles and lives transformed and touched and he bodies healed. And, and Lord, we pray that even as that is your desire, God, for each one of us, even as we represent you, even as we go as your body, and share the gospel. 
Lord, you've said that you will confirm it with signs, wonders and miracles. And we ask, Lord, that you will do that in our lives as well today and in the days ahead. We thank you. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.